Marcello Pogge Chiove e non dopo che stracco dove è? torna Chiove Schiove e I'm gonna make a thing today called Volvo in Purgatorio o I mean eggs in hell or eggs in purgatory so it's really easy you need eggs see? these are eggs tomatoes and a can opener. What I'm have to do first, I'm gonna have to make uh, a pomodoro sauce. And I've made that before when we made it with pasta, but I'm just gonna make the pomodoro sauce. It's gonna take a little time, but I like making a fresh one like this. Because then the flavor of the, the gravy and, and the eggs together is it's just a wonderful thing. So I'm gonna start this off now. I got my tomatoes open. I'm all set with that. Now I have to go and get Guess what this is? Hey, it's olive, oil. olive oil. Exactly. And it's Italian olive oil and I like it a whole lot. So I'm going to put some of this in the bottom of the pan and enough of, uh, I'd say it, it's nice. Maybe about three quarters of a, a third of a cup or half a cup. And I have to eat garlic because I don't need garlic. I don't have what I need. So, on this one, I use two cloves of garlic. And the stuff peels off, that's why I like doing it this way. I wash my hands. Nothing like doing when you have to do it. And this green stuff works really nice. I like it because it's biodegradable. It doesn't clog up your sinks. And it's just all happy. Oh, beautiful. Back to work. Okay, now I gotta cut up the garlic. So I take some of the ends off. First, I like just a little bit of end. I'll stick it over here and then I'll just chop this up. Rough chop it. Doesn't have to be a lot. Of course, it's going to get golden brown inside that frying pan anyway. So I take it and I put this inside the frying pan. And I should start out. And then we have to add this because we don't need the hot pepper. It doesn't become eggs in hell as we call it. So a little bit of hot pepper. Well, a little bit more than hot pepper. Sprinkle that in. We're good. Make sure the sign's up. Wait for it to come to a golden brown. And we'll crush these tomatoes. I have to get a bowl. Excuse me. The dog and I were playing in the yard the other day. He's my retriever and I, I like him, you, I use him to hunt. And he was retrieving a double, so I threw the one bird for the double and he picked it up and he came back like a good boy and he swung his rear end around and he took my knee out. So I'm kind of hobbling around, but I can still walk. It works. Anyway, these are the tomatoes. Italian peel plum tomatoes. Again, I use Postosos because they're really good. I get them in Brooklyn, which is a wonderful thing to do and a wonderful place to go when you need stuff. I need a little water to can. Put it in that too. Good. Put this over here. And then I crush them. Oh. I like this. See ya. I've got my, uh, well, it's nice because the cameraman comes over here. I took this off the heat for a little while just to let it cool off so when I put the tomatoes in, it doesn't scatter all over the place. that. That's good. And i got to add some basil to this. Because if you add basil to it, it just makes it so nice when you eat it. Basil to gravy, to like macaroni gravy for sauces, maybe, it's like a 2 minus 7, 5, 7 to 1 in, in music. 2 minus 7, 5, 7 to 1 are just common all over the place and they're great things to play and people use them in every tune that they write. And olive oil and garlic and tomatoes and basil are the same thing. You put them together and it comes out sounding really good. So if I take a half a teaspoon of salt, that's not enough. I'll take another half a teaspoon of salt. That gives me a teaspoon. A teaspoon's perfect. That should be perfect for now. So we should enjoy ourselves and have fun with this. In about 20 minutes this will be done and then we can put the eggs in and breakfast is gonna be really good. Hi, it's me again. Uh, I like to do a tune from uh, a 
That's an old Italian tune, only about the control and the core. Mm -hmm. Capordimo pace assurna, non c'è regime ormai perché, o che cava se non avona, non sto sti voi che ho in lei, pur te lo chiama non risponda, te fa dispietta a me, termino già così, anima ancora. Non c'è la sama chiù, ma non per un'ora. Sto adesso ti arrivi, mi fa paura, sempre con te, tanto con te, per non morire. Che certo ci muo a fare, parole amare. Se io bene può campare, con un respiro, si smane a bordo, per chi sta amore, terniamo già così, terniamo già così, terniamo già così, anima ancora, anima ancora. So, what do you think? I like it. I hope you did too. So, while I've got the, the gravy cooking or the sauce cooking for the eggs, I'm going to fill up the teapot so we can have tea with breakfast. Tea is so nice with breakfast. I love it when we place it on the fire and it feels so good when I drink it. Thank God. We're just about ready to put the eggs into the pot, but I want to take some bread that I have frozen because it's the only way for me to keep it out here in Pennsylvania. Went into Brooklyn, got some bread, keep it frozen. Now I'm going to put it in the oven, not to toast it, just to thaw it. So, I'll do that now. And then I'll put the eggs in the pot. All you do is crack the egg, open it up, and put it in the gravy to poach. Just like you're making anything else. Maybe a few more eggs. And I hear the tea. I hear yep. the tea we'll starting the to boil right away. One more egg. So that's all ready. I'll shut the tea off. And we'll let this cook. Put the cover on it so they cook properly. And we sit there and I look at it. I give it mm, three minutes. This way, I don't know. And this is a, a, a French press, which means you put coffee or tea in it, whichever. Fill it with water, and you put the strainer on the top, let it sit. Like this. And when it sits and it's finished, then you press it all the way down and you serve the tea. It works out really well. So I'm going to put this on the table, and pretty soon I'll be able to serve the eggs. And I'm going to eat breakfast. Oh, fam. I'm hungry. And there's Darla. Making your cameo appearance. Ah, say hello, honey. Don't be nervous. Hi. You okay? Our three minutes are up, and I gave it another 10, 15 seconds just so they look poached. And you can tell when they look poached. Then we take the plate. And we get, I use a slotted spoon so I get rosy egg gravy later. But come on, eat the egg. Put it in the plate like that. Good one, sweet. We have our eggs in hell, or uove in purgatorio. A little bit of bread. That's all toasted the bread. Because hey. bread makes this meal really happy. Bon appetit, everybody. Let's enjoy ourselves. My favorite part of the show. Mm. Mm. This is great. Oh, mm. it is. He's not kidding. It's true. This is really good. It's delicious. Bye bye. And when it comes to eggs, the yolk's on you. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs>